again. Today I wanted to kind of do something a little bit different. Um, I thought that I'd kind of track my journey working out and trying to build muscle. And I'm calling it the road to the aesthetic physique because that's kind of what I'm trying to do at the moment. I'm trying to pack on muscle, trying to reach to the ideal physique that I want. And so basically I thought that, sorry the cat's just coming. So basically I thought that I'd kind of document it and show it, you know, because a lot of fitness YouTubers, they only show like the end bit. You only kind of see like where they are and they have a few photos and video from where they've come from, but they don't have like this documenting the journey and kind of their insights and things along the way. So I thought that it'd be really beneficial if I shared that. So I think first I'll, <laughs> I'll take off my shirt. You should be able to see me, but I'll move this out of the way. So this is how I'm currently looking. I have worked out this morning, so I've probably got a little bit of a pump in the arms, but I'm not. What is this like? I know I should use a pump. enough of that that's enough of that flogging stuff but yeah I thought that'd be kind of cool to show the journey and kind of my mindset and how I've changed along the way so I started four years ago I just kind of got into it kind of learnt and made all these mistakes and then um, yeah so at the moment I'm trying to pack on muscle so I'm working pretty close to failure and my program at the moment is one that I've made for myself because I really just want to focus on the things that I kind of feel are underbe underdeveloped in me. And at the moment, I feel like that's my forearms and my arms is something that I really want to get bigger. And as well as that, also my quads because I haven't really been, I kind of neglected them from the past year because I was playing so much football and I also had a couple like knee kind of injury things, so I couldn't quite squat properly. But I've been doing the ATG kind of program to try and using some of the exercises to kind of help um, my knee pain, which I feel has helped a lot. I'll just show you. You've probably seen it, or maybe you haven't, but I think it's important not just to gain muscle, but to also be able to use it and be functional. So like he's got the ATG split squat. I'm not great at this, but this is what I have at the moment. And the goal is to be able to, I'm just gonna put that down, have your foot on the ground and have your hamstring covering here or having your back knee up. And kind of the philosophy behind that, you may be thinking, you know, if you haven't seen this before, like, isn't your knee not supposed to go beyond your toes? You know, like, aren't you supposed to keep it straight? Well, yes, because that's what we were told because it puts more pressure on the knee, but that pressure on the knee actually can be beneficial if done in like a structured and deliberate way can actually strengthen up the knee joints and make it more resilient. I've found that it has definitely helped. Um, yeah, I'll go back to my program, I'm kind of just ranting on. So I do have it on a sheet over there. I've only just started this one this week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is like my focus. I do five days, Monday to Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do my focus. So that's like my forearms, my biceps, triceps, and quads. And you may be thinking, well, that's a, that's a really weird thing. Like, are you just making your own split up? And I'm like, yeah, I am. Because I think it's important to kind of not get stuck in all these different ways and kind of figure out what works for you. And at the start, I definitely recommend doing some sort of whole body or some sort of upper lower split. I, I personally like the upper lower or the push pull leg split. And now I'm going into like this focused kind of thing because I've been working out for a while and I kind of know, all right, my shoulders grow quite easily. My hamstrings grow quite easily. Um, I'm okay with my chest and back at the moment. It's not ideal, but I'm willing to put that on the back burner to get my arms bigger. <clears throat> so another question you might have is like, why, why work out at all? Why build this up? Isn't this some sort of like egoic kind of thing? 
And yeah, it kind of is, but I like to think, well, my belief is that if you could be better, why wouldn't you be better? And so I want to re, I want to, I've gained a lot of confidence and a bit more learned a lot of kind of things about discipline, that sort of thing from building muscle. And I kind of want to share that with other people and realize that it's, it's not just like this big masculine kind of thing, like pushing weights, which is great. And, you know, being attractive to women is also like very, like it's a massive contributing factor to it, but it also kind of has this really nice kind of effect on your life. And I just really like to put in work. So then my future self is kind of confident, you know, it's kind of nice to think, Oh, you know, my arms were very skinny, but now like I have decent biceps and I have decent arms and I look like, look a bit better and I feel a bit more confident in myself and I'm more confident wearing the, like a sleeveless shirt. I never would have worn a sleeveless shirt. Like even two years ago, I never would have. And now I'm just like, this is what I'm at at the moment. I'm kind of grateful for it, but I also want to get better. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. I'll show you, I'll go through what, I'm, what my program is. I kind of just keep ranting. Um, that's okay. So what do I do? <laughs> I literally did it this morning and I'm already like worried about it. So <laughs> this is a makeshift thing that I've kind of made myself. It looks a bit dodgy, but literally I've just kind of got this block of wood and this string that I tie to a weight. I'm just going to tie it to this for now. This isn't what I use, but I usually just use my dumbbells because I have I only have adjustable dumbbells at home. And so basically you just tie it on. I'm just gonna tie it on quickly. And then <laughs> you just basically just roll it up and it's and it's like really gets your forearms going. It looks more like that. And then you can go both ways. And that's a wrist roller. Called a wrist roller. That's what I learned from Bruce Lee, my man. He's got sick ass forearms. Shredded ass. Um, so as well as that, I've been doing, I've got a pull up thing and I use these and I hold on to that and pull myself up like that to get more grip strength and train my forearms a bit more. Also kind of indirectly trains the biceps. So why did I, why do I start with forearms? Like that seems a really weird thing. I feel like it's been a weak point in my physique for ages. I've always had very skinny wrists and skinnier arms. And I've just wanted to kind of grow them a bit more because, you know, that's the part that's like almost always shown. And it's kind of nice to get to gain muscle, you know, and to see the progress and to kind of feel like a confident in yourself. Like, yeah, I look good. <laughs> Oh my God, it sounds like I'm just like boosting my ego, but. So that's kind of like the first video. This is my set point. Um, I'll probably go into my workouts later. Track more, more progress. Oh, I should also tell you about my diet. So at the moment <laughs> I have 12 eggs, a dozen eggs raw in a smoothie. Um, I have that with protein powder and creatine. And then usually I have a salad with some sort of chicken with a chicken breast. Then I have a pasta that I've kind of hooked up with beef in it. And then sometimes I'll just snack on like some protein bars or like an apple or some fruit or something. And then, so I have half of my smoothie in the morning, half the other half of the egg smoothie in the afternoon. And that's like probably the bulk of my calories and protein in there. It's probably, it's, a bit over a thousand calories and I think it's off the top of my head it's nearly a hundred grams of protein and um, yeah I think the main thing for me is just getting in enough and getting it in enough consistently and then just training to failure consistently to um, gain muscle and another kind of tip that I've got is or that I've learned is kind of putting your sport and running kind of to the back burner and just kind of focus, you know, just on building muscle. 
that's if you're like me, have a high metabolism and you really want to just pack on muscle at the moment. That's my focus and that's what I want to do. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, to end, I think I'll just check my weight as well. I've got the scales here. So, okay, let's, I'm going to check my weight now. Check the weight. Currently at 72, 73. All right, so that was Road to the Aesthetic Physique 1. Um, I guess from here, I just kind of track my progress. Um, I'll probably have a bit more scheduled thing and I'll kind of figure out kind of what I want to share, what you guys want to know, and kind of track my progress and share what I've learned and my insights along the way. But this is probably going to be a long-term journey. You know, this is not something that happens in, you know, a couple of weeks, couple of months. It's going to be a couple of years probably till I pack on enough muscle where I'm happy enough with it. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching if you did, and see you in the next video.